Hey everyone, TechnoMent here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone 16 Pro that may be overheating or getting hot. So let's get started. Now, it is very common for the phone to get hot when you first initially get it in the first few days because it is indexing a lot of new data on it. So it's totally normal, but you can also follow these steps to reduce that and make it better. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is pull up your uh, open apps like this and then simply close all of your open apps. So whatever your open app, yeah, just simply close them out. So we're going to go ahead and just keep on swiping until we, all the apps are closed. So once all the apps are closed, you're going to follow this step, which is you're going to quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to this side button until the screen goes completely black. So I'm going to do volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button here and just keep on holding on to the side button until you can see the Apple logo appear. At that time, we will let go of that side button. As you can see here, I'm holding on to that side button just like that. And we're going to wait until the Apple logo appears. And then at that time, you'll let go of that side button. And this is basically known as a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software, reloads the code. So if you're having any issues with the software, it's going to go ahead and fix it. This method will not delete any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe. You do not have to worry about that. And once you're back on, you should be able to see everything. And now if you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to go ahead is go into your setting on your iPhone. Simply go to your option for privacy and security. And then in the location services, if this is turned on, you want to check and review apps that are using location services. And the reason that is because when apps are using your location services, they use the GPS, which can also cause the GPS to use a battery and cause it to overheat so you're going to look for apps that you don't need gps being used and you can turn them on so you can go down here and click on never so it doesn't use it of course you can always come back and change this and i recommend is turning off location services completely if you don't need it the next time you need it you can go ahead and turn it on as well now along with that the next thing you want to do is in your settings here you're going to go to general and then this time you're going to look for background app refresh and see apps that are running in the background which basically means is you're looking to constantly get data refreshed uh, every time there's data available and that can also cause the phone to use excessive power over turn causing it to heat up so you can turn off each app individually here i usually like to just turn this off for all apps so that even when i open up the app it's going to go ahead and refresh the data anyway so you're going to preserve battery life and not cause it to overheat as well Next thing you want to do in your setting, if you're still having issues, is going into your general for the main settings. Look at iPhone storage. You want to ensure that you have some storage available on your device here. What I mean by that is, as you can see here, I have 97 gigs available. But if you're down to your last couple gigs, you want to make sure you free up some storage. I would recommend at least 5 to 10 gigs of storage available. So that way, when you open up an app, it doesn't cause it to try to... I'll freeze up, try to overheat because it's looking to use the last bit of uh, storage available. What you can do is delete some apps that you don't use, maybe any longer format videos or photos that can clear up some storage. Here's a recommendation that the phone will give you so you can use that as well. Now along with that is the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues. Troubleshooting is going to be going into your settings and then general and the scroll down which is transfer reset iPhone. Click on the first option where reset and you're going to reset all settings. The reason that is because when you initially set up your phone or if you move data over from another phone, settings might be have changed and that could cause the phone to not function the way it should. And then you want to do a reset to reset the settings. Again, resetting the settings will not delete any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. It's simply the settings themselves. Now, after you have done that and you're finding that still not I'll fix the last thing to do is to check for an update in your settings. Go to general and the software update and check if there's an update available. Usually what there is an update available, you're going to go ahead and up, click on update now. Uh, and the reason why that is because there is bug fixes going around and because the new iPhone 16 Pro or any iPhone 16 is very new as users are discovering the issue. Apple is seeing those issues and they're addressing it with the software fixes. And hopefully we won't see this issue. As I mentioned in the very beginning of the video, it is normal for the first couple of days for the phone to do what's known as indexing, basically uh, going and running process in the background to make sure your phone runs optimally. And after that, you shouldn't see any overheating issues. 
And our final advice is that if you're using any kind of case that could potentially be causing the phone to overheat, you want to check that out. And also make sure you're using the official cable and the charger whenever you're charging your phone, not to use any third party uh, cables or adapters as well. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.